New for Spring Summer 2021, we have the AGV X101, which is another addition to the range of off-road inspired, road-going, motocross looking helmets. I tried to coin the term street cross a few years back, but I didn't think it really caught on. But that's kind of what this is. So you've got helmets that sort of started this movement like the Bell Moto 3, which this is a pretty close resemblance to, of course, because it is that off-road inspired design. This one particularly, AGV say, taking inspiration from the designs of the 70s and 80s Dakar rally helmets. And we actually have a Dakar colorway, as they call it here, uh, as well, just to kind of honor that. And this is something that has a bit more of what I would say would be a retro sort of line to the styling, particularly around the jaw guard area, as compared with something like the Moto3 or the very popular Shoei X0 helmet. So we'll reference those a bit further into the review. First of all, with this, this comes in in the plain colors anyway, at £269.99. And the wonderful thing from sort of our point of view as riders is the fact that AGV are, they're another brand, a little bit like Shoei, who just get the fit absolutely spot on across all their helmets. There's never any inconsistency, sizing is perfect, and there seems to be something very universal about the shape and the sizing that they employ inside in the sort of internal EPS and foam liner combination to create something that just fits everyone really nicely. And that's certainly the case for me. I have more of an oval head shape, as do quite a few of the guys around the office, and it's not always the case with some of the other brands in particular Bell, that it's necessarily the perfect shaped head for us. So the AGV has always been a really, really great fit. And it seems to also fit people with more of a rounded head shape just as well too. So it's one of those very clever balances they've managed to strike. So this one fits true to size. In terms of weight, it's 1300 grams without the peak on, the peak adding just an extra 50 grams. So that comes included at the price as well. The peak is something that I really like. So it's fixed by these very sturdy rivets um, with these buttons, three snaps across the top of the brow area. That's something that is also a problem in some of the other rival helmets. Not gonna name and shame any particularly, but they're not always the most dependable. If you're someone that does like to take the peak on and off, we have seen these buttons sort of fail over time. I've given these a really good go, getting them on and off several times, and they feel really sturdy and secure. So that's nice and reassuring. But the peak itself has this really nice kind of vented, little system which you can't necessarily see that clearly in the pictures on the product pages so I didn't realize it had this until I saw the actual helmet and I really like it I think it gives it quite a cool look and design I don't know how much it helps really with airflow cooling venting or aero or whatever the reason behind it is but it just looks really nice so the actual aperture of the helmet as well is really generous and this is something that the Moto3 has always been very good for because other motocross inspired road going road legal helmets such as these in this range have a smaller aperture and that means when it comes to the range of goggles that you have you have to get sort of specific ones to that helmet which are often micro sized and not actual motocross goggles and it doesn't always look right in proportion to the size of the shell. These just take motocross goggles and what we have here as an example are the 100% Barstow goggles which are very popular with people in our part of the world to accessorize with these kind of helmets and they are absolutely amazing. So um, do have a look over on urbanrider.co.uk. We've got some great deals going on the Barstow range. This is the Deus one and it looks amazing. It fits really neatly onto the aperture with just the right drop inside between the outer of the shell allowing for these goggles to work seamlessly, perfectly. And it's just a really great, neat fit. Nice seal around the edge too. Seal's probably the wrong word, but a nice, neat join around the edges. So when it comes to the jaw guard, as you will see here, this has a sort of flatter profile to it as compared with the Bell, which of course is based on the 70s helmet that Bell made for motocross, which has a slightly more aggressive style jaw guard with a slightly higher rise to the opening of it. And then as compared to the Shoei X0, which is another really popular helmet in this range that has an even more aggressive style to it. The Shoei coming in at a higher price of $323.99, but that includes the internal retractable visor, but no peak, so sort of win one, lose another, and the Bell Motor 3 like the X101, including the peak as well. And they all have a kind of similar profile with the main body of the shell. With the AGV, perhaps if you have all three next to each other, having a slightly taller rise to it, but overall they are still relatively slim and I think that that's a good thing when it comes to these helmets, having them nice and compact. There are three shell sizes in the range, so that's relatively good as well. Some of these sort of cheaper brands do just two, and there can be quite a jump between the smaller of the shells and the bigger of the shells, depending on the size you go for. Whereas this one, it's generally quite proportional to your head size. So we've got matte black here, we've got the Dakar colorway as well, which has a sort of off-white cream color to it with the nice sort of retro coloring with the stripes. And it's just got the names of a number of the different stopping points on the Dakar rally sort of printed across the back, but that's nice and small and understated. So that's a cool colorway. This one's really striking as well. The only thing I'd say kind of style wise about them that is just 
tiny bit annoying is the branding. And this is just so common. Um, you're never gonna find a helmet brand out there that's happy to sort of keep their branding understated, unfortunately. And AGV's logo being sort of multicolored, it does stick out rather a lot, particularly if you're going for the black option. It'd be so great if they just did a sort of monotone version for their matte black helmet. It would look so much better. Um, but then you've got something like the Belmoto 3 that has Belmoto 3 written right the way down the side in massive writing. And unless you're paying for the, I think there's a blackout colorway, which does have it all in black, it is very on the show. So it kind of is no worse than any other brand. It's just something that I sort of feel a little bit like, ah, you know, maybe you can cover that over, I don't know. Um, obviously AGV, as I say, gonna want their branding to be out there so people can know this cool new helmet when you get stopped and asked what it is you're wearing. So the lining is removable and washable. The shell is a fiberglass shell, which is a really good quality of shell. So that again is very similar to what its rivals are offering. The showy perhaps having something that's just a little bit more technical, but obviously at a higher price point than what we have here from AGV. So this one, I think just sitting in the kind of range of these street cross helmets, I'm gonna keep trying to re-push that as a term. This sort of sits in the middle of most things. And I think in some ways it's the most comprehensive overall package. The Bell arguably has the pedigree with the original sort of helmet starting this whole trend. The X0 has something a bit more technical about it. If you want something a bit more edgy looking, I think that's a great option too. But the AGV in terms of comfort, balance of price, and just the overall execution of it. And of course, if you like this kind of style of the jaw guard, something a little bit less aggressive, a little bit more retro inspired, more rounded perhaps and slightly flatter at the front as opposed to pointed, this is also a fantastic option. There's gonna be a whole host of accessories for things like different colored peaks and visors and unfortunately, we don't have much detail on that yet. We'll give you more info um, with the newsletter release. So do sign up to our newsletters. We have exclusive offers, we have so many great things and also follow us across our other social platforms, whoops, like Instagram as well because we run amazing competitions, giveaways and so on. So it's definitely worth getting involved there too. Anything else, questions below. And if you want to see more of the world's finest running gear, stay tuned and we'll see you again. Thank you for watching, goodbye.